Hey guys, welcome back to Breaking the Cycle. My name is Tracy and I am a licensed therapist in long-term recovery. And Breaking the Cycle is where I share my experiences and tips to help you build a happy and successful life after addiction. So last week we did five surprising things that you cannot have in jail. This week we're doing five surprising things that you can have in jail. Again, keep in mind jail and prison are two different things and every county and state operates in a different way. So this is solely based on my experiences. I would love to hear down in the comments how your experiences were, if they were different, if, and how this compares to everybody else. Real quick before we get started, just another quick thank you for reaching 700, for being here with me on this journey as I start this channel. If you want to check me out on any other platforms, I am on Instagram and Facebook and I do look at my Instagram as a challenge. So every single day there are journal prompts and action steps. It's a quick 10 minutes that you can take every day for your mental health just to check in with that page each morning. Okay, five surprising things that you can have in jail. Jail, not prison. So number one on the list is your own clothes. Now, if you look at jails in other countries, there are people that actually wear their own clothes the whole entire time. That's not exactly what I mean here. You can't come in in your own outfit and keep your whole outfit. But in my county jail, you could come in with your own white. So your whites are your undergarments. They are your shirts, your t plain t-shirts, plain long sleeve shirts, socks, um, boxers for dudes, bras for women. They all have to be plain white. If you come into jail with your own completely white things on, then they will usually let you keep it. And that's actually a really big deal because without those whites, the only clothes that you have to wear are the jumpsuits that the jail gives you. Sometimes it's jumpsuits. I've had orange jumpsuits. I've had like navy blue scrubs and I've had tan scrubs in prison. Now you can imagine what those jumpsuits and those scrubs are made of. It's that thick kind of burly material. I'm sorry, my dog is nuts. My, my puppy, I told you guys, I got a new puppy, an Australian Shepherd. He is nuts. I want to take a nap and he's just standing there barking in her face. Okay, anyways, so having your own whites is actually a really big deal. If you don't have them, you can buy them on commissary, but here's the thing. One long sleeve white t-shirt on commissary is probably going to cost you 20 to 40 bucks. So for you to get the whole setup of socks, underwear, t-shirts, long sleeve tees, it's going to cost you a hundred or two, definitely a hundred or two easy. You also don't get commissary right when you come in. It's something that the order goes out once a week and then they have to order it and then it comes in. So you're going to be without those whites for a while. And without those whites, like I said, all you have is your jumpsuit. And sometimes that's only one jumpsuit. And when you really think about it, when you really think about spending your entire day, when you wake up, when you go to sleep, in that one same dirty jumpsuit, it's not cool. It's, it's not cool. You want to have something to lounge in. You want to have something to be comfy in at night. What about when you wash that jumpsuit? What are you going to do? Just wander around naked while you do the laundry? Plus, in jail, things have to air dry, so you're going to be naked for a long time. So yes, whites are very, very important. So around here, if you're ever on the run from the police, you wanna make sure you have a layer of whites on at all times, just in case you get arrested. That way you're good to go when you get booked in. Number two of the craziest things that you can have in jail is a cell phone. I know you're thinking, what? No, not exactly, not exactly. You can't have your cell phone in jail. But they have come out with these amazing new things called chirps. Not all the jails have them, but they're starting to come around. Most of them are starting to get them. Chirps are basically little cell phones and the jail will give them to inmates. They each get their own. And I think now when I was going in and out back in the day, we did not have chirps. I did not ever get to use chirps. So from what I've heard, the guards kind of like pass them out to you 
every day for an X amount of hours and then they pick them back up every night and take them and lock them up or charge them or whatever. And it's not a cell phone like our cell phones are. It's not a whole smartphone where you can search on the internet and, and all of these things. It is just for texting. But it actually operates pretty much like a real phone, except you have to put money in. You have to put that cash in to make it operate. It's all about that cash. But if the users put money on the phone, then you are able to pick it up at any time and send them a text message in real time. So you can text people from jail now, which is pretty crazy. Number three on the list. Now, you might not think this is such a crazy one, but think about in our last episode of things that you can't have in jail. Some of those things included silverware and pencils, right? Now, one of the things that you can have in jail is a razor. They do allow you to, if you're a man, shave your face, and if you're a woman, shave your legs or whatever, occasionally. The way that our jail did it was they would pass out the razors. It was supposed to be twice a week. They would drop them off in the cells for like a couple hours. Everybody get your showers, use your razors, and then we're gonna come back and get them. But a lot of times the guards just forgot. So a lot of times they would only show up once a week. Sometimes they wouldn't show up at all. It was not ever anything consistent. You get one rusty razor. Unless, of course, you come buy your own on commissary. If not, if you're indigent or if you're only using the supplies that the jail gives you, you get one razor. And every time you use it, they put it back in a Ziploc bag where it's, when it's still a little bit damp and it gets rusty in there. And they hand you back that rusty disposable razor every single week for you to shave your legs or your armpits or your face. Or a lot of times people would shave their heads with them. I shaved a girl's head with a disposable, a rusty, a rusty disposable razor in, in county jail. It wasn't my head, but I helped shave it. So you do get razors not in quite the way that you would think. Number four of the craziest things that you could have in jail, vapes. A lot of jails now offer e-cigs that you can buy on commissary. I'm pretty sure they're like ungodly expensive. Again, I don't know. We didn't have e-cigs when I was going in and out. You did get to have a real cigarette from time to time. If you were going out of the jail for any reason to like a, a medical thing or to a court date or something like that, if you happen to get a nice guard, they would stand outside with you while you're all cuffed up, chains around your ankles, handcuffs on your hands, in your jumpsuit or your scrubs or whatever, and they would stand outside with you or in the garage with you and let you smoke a real cigarette. Yay, such an exciting day, right? But now there are e-cigs that you can buy and just puff away on all day long as you're chilling on your bunk. And number five of the craziest things that you can have in jail is fast food. Now this is not for everybody. I never got fast food when I was locked up, but there are ways that you can acquire fast food when you are incarcerated. Some jails offer programs, and if you do sign up for that program, some kind of like rehabilitation or drug program or something like that, you may get the benefit of the staff bringing in fast food from time to time. In our case, um, there was what they called an honor dorm. It was like people who had been at the jail for so long without any write-ups or something like that. Every week, the staff would bring them fast food, and that was one of the rewards for getting into the honor dorm. I, I never made it into the honor dorm. I'm Not that I was like a huge troublemaker in county jail. They just never picked me. I don't know. Maybe there was some ulterior motives behind the honor dorm. I'm not really sure, but I know that they were getting pizza and McDonald's every week over there in that dorm. Okay, if any of you guys have Australian Shepherds, let me know. Are yours biters? Yeah, if you have Aussies, give me, give me your tips because he's a wild one. So that was the five craziest things that you can have in jail. And I really thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next one.